like uh, to answer three questions uh, for you today, and then we can perhaps uh, bounce back on this uh, altogether. The first one is, uh, uh, why do we have a, a social business initiative? The second one will be, what's in the, the social business initiative? And the last one is, what's next? What's ahead of us? Uh, why do we have a social business initiative? In fact, if I, if I use what uh, Mr. Hurt just said, we want to fight off a status quo because one of the key challenges uh, in these times is to draw lessons, to fully draw lessons from the crisis. And here again, uh, if I come back to the mandate of my, my commissioner, Michel Barnier, uh, the job is very simple. We have to do two things. The first one is to fully implement this G20 roadmap for financial reforms because it starts with, with, with good financial reforms <coughs> to have the economy, uh, to have the finance uh, at, uh, at the service of the economy and not the other way around. So the job is very simple. We have a G20 roadmap to implement it in the EU uh, fully, no exception, and we, we monitor what the partners are doing in the world. Japan, China, and the US have to do the same thing. That's the first part of the job. The second part of the job is equally important, or even more important when we talk to the citizens. This is defining a growth agenda, a credible growth agenda. Um, but this is a key thing, a key challenge, because we don't have money in the public uh, finance now. So we have to be very smart, very clever to, to identify precisely what are the levers that would, that would help unlock this growth all across the EU territory. So uh, the Commission proposed in April 2011 what we call the Single Market Act, uh, which is a document uh, that lists down uh, 50 proposals that we believe are uh, very important to unlock this growth, uh, the untapped reserve uh, of growth in the single market. And you have in this, if I browse quickly uh, through these levers, you have uh, proposals on public procurement. You have proposals on uh, uh, IPR because we want to protect innovation. We don't have an EU patent so far in Europe. We are nearing this, but so far it's, it's not the case. We have also proposals for SMEs and, and a passport for venture capital all across Europe. All these proposals are extremely important. And within this key proposal, you have something on social entrepreneurship. You have the SBI initiative. Because of what? Because we believe that there is an enough <coughs> reserve of growth, and that should be that should be unlocked in the very short term. So uh, all all the idea of having this initiative relies on this. We have a reserve of growth, and we have to articulate uh, because this is a nascent area. This is this is new. We have to articulate with the help of stakeholders. The Commission has not the infused science in this subject. We have to articulate a good policy making. And, and see where we can go to have results very quickly because we are not uh, uh, waiting until 2020 to, to be efficient here. We want to be very efficient quickly. Um, and if I am, if I am uh, responding to Paul, who said, I will be claiming uh, the power of DG Mark <laughs> department in Brussels because this is a key department. I would not, uh, would not say so. I think the objective for us in Brussels is, must be clear for everybody, is to break silos. We have to break silos all across the competences of any organization, in particular the Commission, who has a role to deliver policy making for Europeans. <laughs> because it's not DG Mark alone who will do things, it's not Commissioner Barnier alone who will do things. It's, it's, it's the full range of competences that must be aggregated to deliver a consistent policy making in this area. If we, if we are uh, fostering initiatives from one commissioner or one minister, uh, uh, we will not have results uh, at the end of the day. So breaking silos this is definitely the objective that we have in Brussels, and, and, um, and that's what we are aiming to. If I come back to the second question, which is, uh, uh, what is the social business initiative? If I give a simple definition, I would say this is a platform. This is a, some sort of a, a base camp where we can uh, rethink three things. The first uh, is markets, uh, the, the, the structure, the infrastructure of the markets. Uh, the, the second thing is investment. What is the good way to invest? What is the good investment process now uh, to, to be successful? And, the, and, the, and the, the third thing is the, the models. What are the successful models today or tomorrow? These are the three things that we, we believe we can rethink, rediscuss uh, uh, through the social business initiative. This is not encompassing the, the full spectrum of social innovation. This is just a part of it because we, we are talking about, about business, we are talking about people that have a business models, uh, and uh, social innovation is, it goes beyond that. But at least we give a platform 
where we can rethink this three important thing because market infrastructure uh, in this uh, field is is either non-existent or on the verge of existing uh, but this is really nascent uh, emerging and the job has to be done yet um, <coughs> this is the simple investment when we when we talk and we will be talking a lot probably today uh, there is no religion uh, we can uh, we can we can trust in fact we are still discussing a lot and we see the expertise of some people that is very helpful to narrow down on what is uh, the, the, the right thing to be done and and the, la and the last thing is are the models uh, what is at stake today is probably the way we, we create alliances. Uh, there is a, um, probably an area where we, are, we, are, where we have to be very creative to associate governments, associate um, uh, uh, financing partners, and associate entrepreneurs. And I think that the UK here is an example uh, to look at because you are pioneering, you are aspirating uh, in, in many f in different aspects this, this, this question of alliances, multi-stakeholder uh, alliances. Um, uh, that's the second, uh, the second uh, part of uh, the second question. So, what's the ne what's next? What the what's uh, ahead of us? Uh, three things again. Uh, the first is uh, an expert group, um, because as I said, the commission has no infused science. Uh, we can't do that alone. Uh, and the, the decision was taken after the event. You can't be participating in uh, in November to to set up an expert group to accompany what we are doing, and to help us uh, sketch what could be the future policy. <coughs> because this social business initiative, as I say, is a platform. This is the beginning. We can <coughs> it's a toolbox. We can put things in it, and and uh, that's the objective to have experts for what we're doing in, what we are doing now and what we will be doing in the future. The second thing is the Single Market Act. Uh, I told you this, this document adopted by the Commission in April, where we have the 12 levers for, for unlocking growth in the single market. We have a chapter on social economy, social uh, entrepreneurship, and there will be a Single Market Act too this year. Um, there will be a key priority for social entrepreneurship. I can't tell you, because we are reflecting on this, what will be this key proposal we'll put on the table. Uh, but but the, the the, the reflection sh should associate people in the UK, stakeholders in the UK, because you have ideas, you have been spirating regarding dome on assets, you, 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 are, uh, you are really um, uh, aware of what should be done regarding, for example, uh, uh, we call that in the, U in the US the Community Reinvestment Act, but the way banks spread in the territory and help entrepreneurs uh, do their job, um, adequately, though they are not in the right neighborhood. Um, we have many proposals that could be uh, put on the table, but the fact is that we have to choose one uh, when we come up with the single market, market, market act uh, too. And uh, the last thing um, besides this is the single market week, because the commission is in Brussels. It's, it's uh, sometimes regarded as a very uh, ivory tower. Uh, but the fact is that all this pertains to the, to the citizens, uh, to UK citizens, to European citizens, and we want to create ownership uh, from the citizen side uh, on, on these questions. So during the Single Market Week, which will help celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Single Market created under the presidency of Jacques Delors in '92, we will have the chance to have debates all across Europe and in the UK, hopefully, uh, on this question, and that will be probably quite helpful to... Uh, <coughs> design the way forward. That's uh, all I have to say. I, I recognize nothing is uh, perfect, and uh, we are of course prepared to, to lots of critics. Uh, the most important is that we keep discussing seriously, and that we, we identify deliverables quickly, because we are not talking about something that should be concrete in 2020. It should be fast and efficient.